who the Jesuits are and where they came from and uh, what, what it is their purpose is because, well, you know, to a lot of people that might just seem like, well, that's just one of those orders of priests. Why are they any different from, you know, uh, we don't and know the, the names of, of the others, yeah. but the rest of them, why are they different exactly? Well, I I think I've used this excuse before. Suppose I, as a white man, were in Africa and I got in trouble and they threw me in prison and all around me are blacks in the prison and I'm the only white guy. And so logic alone would tell you that I need to do some thinking real quick because I've got masses of blacks in, in, the, in the prison and I'm the only white guy. <clears throat> and so the smart thing to do is for the white guy to start spreading rumors among the rest of the uh, rest of the uh, inmates about what other people, what the other inmates are saying about you and about your mother and about your family. And I go to one group and I tell them, hey, you know what this those, those guys over in that corner over there, what they said about you and your mother, and then. They now I've got them mad at each other, and they're going to be struggling against each other. And, and then I go and do that over and over and over until I finally got the whole prison rant and raving at each other. And I'm passing around rumors and causing uh, causing uh, you know problems for the whole uh, prison. And I'm getting everybody mad at each other and fighting each other by lying to them. So thank God they're all killing each other and they leave me alone. Ah. And so that's the smart thing to do is get everybody fighting each other and then they'll leave you alone. And so the Jesuits were found in the mid-1500s. And I believe that the Jesuits are responsible for founding so many of the major religions today. So many of these religions have been founded by Jesuits. Uh, of that, I mean, uh, the Masonic Order is a Jesuit, Catholic Jesuit order that was founded. We call it today Freemasonry. I think it has a Jesuit foundation. The Catholic Church Jesuits founded what we call the Freemasonic Lodge. I am sure that the Jesuits founded Freemasonry, and I'm sure that Freemasonry, in the hands of the Jesuits, helped finance and organize and direct Jehovah's Witnesses, Seventh-day Adventists, Christadelphians, Worldwide Church of God, and all of the other British Israel World Federation religions. Go back and look at the British Israel World Federation concept, and you will see that Jehovah's Witnesses, the Mormons, the Seventh-day Adventists, Worldwide Church of God, Christadelphians, so many different cults of Christianity in America are actually Masonic cults and founded by Freemasons, and financed by Freemasons, and run by Freemasons, and Re Freemasonry itself is run by the Jesuits. And so I think that there's been a continual <clears throat> feeding of poison into the human society, causing people to hate each other, causing people to be racist against each other, and never realizing that it's so that you will not look at your real enemy. The real enemy is the one that's right there in your midst and doing all this to you so that you will become so weak and so downtrodden that you will not be any, uh, you won't be any competition to the enemy that's already inside your gates. And by enemy inside the gates of America, I mean the one group that the founding fathers back in 1700s when they founded the United States of America as a republic, not a democracy, they founded the United States as a republic, <clears throat> they said there were two things that the founding fathers did not want in this country, and it's written that way. The two groups that they did, want, did not want coming into this country were lawyers and the Catholic Church, the Vatican. Mm -hmm. The Vatican was not allowed to operate on the on the property we call the United States of America. Well, <clears throat> when people were going west, you know, back in the 1700s, 1800s, when mankind was leaving the East Coast and going west, uh, the you could ask any military guy, what does the word mission mean? As a mission is a military term for a, a military operation. It's called a mission. 
That's a military term. Well, that's why California and the West of the United States has mission. They have Catholic missions. Mission is a military term. The mission was set up by the Jesuits. And so they were, they were coming into this country the back way. The, uh, the, the, the corporation called the United States did not want the Catholic Church here in America at all. They specifically stated that. But the Jesuits, they went across the country, and how they did it, they came through Mexico, they came through Canada, and slipped into the country and founded what they call missions, Catholic missions. And so it was a military establishment of the Catholic Church, a Roman Church, inserting itself into the United States of America with missions. And so that's why today... The Jesuits are a military order within the Catholic Church. Mm. And, you know, you hear people say, well, the Pope doesn't have any troops. Well, what can he do? He, he has no troops. America's got the troops. European leaders have got the troops. What does the Pope have? He just got a bunch of priests. No, he doesn't. He has the very most incredibly brilliant theoretical physicists in the world they're called Jesuits they know exactly how to play your number they know exactly how to get you to hate somebody else and start a war they know precisely how to run the world with chaos because out of chaos comes control it's called ordo ab chaos order out of chaos and so this is why I am sure that the Jesuits are behind all of the stuff going on in Europe right now because the Europeans are involved in, the, in reestablishing the Nazi party today in, in Europe. It's called the Euro. It's actually a Nazi idea provided for by and directed by Jesuits and the Catholic Church, because the Catholic Church is trying to reestablish the rule of the Roman Empire over the whole earth, and they're calling it the New World Order. It's an incredible story of betrayal, and so many people see the Catholic Church and have no idea in the world what this thing is really all about, where this Christianity actually came from, what it teaches and all the sexual symbolism and violence and wars and bloodshed, all of this stuff is being fed to the human race, and this is why we're in trouble today, because our people, like the Bible says, God says to his people, my people are dying from a lack of knowledge. Right. And there's another scripture that is a very important one, as far as I'm concerned. It says, where there is no vision, the people perish. Mm. Where there is no vision, the people perish. That simply means when the whole nation has no vision of what's going on, they have got the faintest idea in the world what they're doing. They're not being told by the government anything because the government is a big club and you ain't in it. And so they're telling you what they want you to know to keep you occupied. And, and, and so until you realize that where there is no vision, the people are dying from a lack of knowledge. <clears throat> I think that is what the Catholic Church is doing for America. It's helping to keep our people ignorant ill-informed and make sure the mafia, La Cosa Nostra, and the organized crime around the world coming out of Rome, out of Italy. I mean, all you got to do is go back and watch Godfather 3, the third one in the series, Godfather 3, mm. where Michael Carleone, the mafia in, in New York, is inside the Vatican, dealing with the Secretary of State, and then you begin to see how organized crime is working hand in hand daily with the Vatican. So once you see how our world is really run and who's running things and how it works, it's going to shock you. It will shock you into realizing that the world we live in has been organized and directed a long time ago before you and your mother was ever born. Mm. There was already organized crime in Europe a thousand years ago. <clears throat> and you find out that Adolf Hitler was financed, organized, and directed the Nazi party by the Jesuits. The Jesuits are the brains behind the Nazi party. 
and the, and the Jesuit symbols are used in the Nazi party. The Jesuits are also responsible responsible for giving the world today the Communist Party. The Soviet Union is a Jesuit operation. And and so today all over the world where you have communists still pushing their so-called democracy, the so-called Democratic Party, in Europe the communists are referred to as Christian Democrats. <laughs> There's a term that used to be all over Europe. It was called Christian Democrats. Christians because they are... They were Jesuit, they were Catholic, so therefore they were Christian, and they were Democrats, were promoting their idea of democracy, which is dividing the people against each other, and letting everybody have a piece of the action to get in a war and a fight with everybody else. And that's what's going on today. When you see all this invasion of the European culture, it's the same idea. The Vatican is destroying European civilization with the idea of, of putting together something new, a new world order, in which there will be no more individuality, no more creativity, no more uh, nationalism. There will be one big, happy, communist concentration camp called the New World Order. And the Vatican and the Jesuits are the brains behind it.